blocking him out because now it's just like I haven't even built you five minutes and you just aggravating me so bad. But I'm Action! today before hold on before i get into the video uh, say that's not cute say that's not fine <laughs> but today i'm back with another story time a story time about the worst date i ever went on like but turn your post notifications on Cause my story time is gonna be juicy. I got some vlogs coming up, everything. So we gonna jump straight into this video cause y'all know how my camera be overheating and playing games. So I had a couple people come down from my city. They came from Boston and Houston and we was looking for things to do. So I suggested we go to Seaside Lounge. Now Seaside Lounge is teed and turnt all the time. It just is, that's just what it is. So we go to Seaside Lounge, we get to Seaside Lounge the line is legit wrapped okay if you don't got a section if you don't got a vip it's just a dub like it doesn't matter it's a dub so me and my friend at the time was already there so we like we just going bang it out we going just wait in line because we already here we pay for parking and you know how them parking people be in houston they want their bread or your car doors is gonna get smashed in so we were just like whatever we here so we were just we waited it out by the time we got in there it was 1 15. mind you the club closed at two so dude ran to the bar he got eight shots of him i'm looking at jit like yo you serious he like yeah we waited long we got to tee up we got to catch up you know what i'm saying we only got about 45 minutes i said all right to the head pop, 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 pop. no chaser i really like that <laughs> No, I'm not, but for that night, I could say for sure, I'm really like that. Four shots of honey, no chaser. Or I think I'm lying. I think I didn't have some water. But still, like, come on. But anyway, so I'm in there, popping them lit, because I'm Hennessy. I had Popeyes way earlier, so my stomach on half. You feel me? So I'm teed up. Ah, ah, boom, boom. All right, so it gets towards the end of the party. And... People was clearing out, leaving. I see some dudes staring at me. He had face tats. Fit was mm, mid, six out of ten. And um, I'm just staring at him. I'm like, yo, you straight. You feel me? I'm off the henny, so I don't know. I just had, I just felt like superior. You know how that hen rock do you? You feeling superior? So I was like, all right, whatever. So I'm, um, you feel me? Looking at dude, you good? He's like, yeah. So people's clearing out. More people clearing out because you know let outs be dope so more people clearing out and he's still there so he you know so i'm like what's up you know small talk found out he's from louisiana br so i'm like all right whatever exchange numbers i'm gonna holla at you see ya you feel me i'm off the henny so i'm gonna go out and max some more like you know that's what the let outs is for so boom next day come so we kind of like small testing but he was like yo um I want to take you out for dinner. I'm like, all right, say that. I mean, I'm still new to Houston. He told me he was a. See, we gonna talk. We gonna call him Lamo. Lamo was Jack, and he was like a rapper. So I'm like, you know, I'm a dancer. To me, any video girl or any type of camera footage counted. So I was like, I might be able to chop it up with him on some business. He drop a video. I'm gonna just be in a video just for you know. So I was like, I don't mind. I don't mind linking with the whoop. So time is rolling by, time is ticking. I don't know, things that used to do not stay open late. So he texts me, he's like, yo, send me the low. So I sent him to the low at the store cause there's mad, you know, niggas that be in front of there just so he know not to play with me. And you are not gonna know where I live. There's like four apartments. How you gonna know? So I sent him the low, time ticking. I'm damn near finna fall asleep. <laughs> Waiting for Lamo, so. He texts me, he's like, I'm here. He's like, so I was like, okay, whatever. I had a, a slight attitude, cause you behind time. Like, come on, Lamo. 
why are you behind time? So now I'm, I'm, I'm looking and it's like a big ass truck. Like it looked like a work truck. I think that was his work truck what he said at the time. So I open the door. I instantly get mad because I smell like sick. That's when I should have just turned around and went home. So when I opened the door and seen Lamo, his partner was with him looking slow. I opened the passenger, he get out, my bad baby girl, I'm going, I'm going, to... I'm just like, just get out and go to the back. Like, attitude already in honey, baby girl, chill, chill little baby, chill, you don't gotta, I'm, I'm already annoyed because one, I'm hungry, you know how women are when they hungry, and two, you behind on time. Like, who do you think you are? But anyways, so I'm like, why you have a friend here? Like, we were supposed to go out to eat, he's like, nah, I'm finna drop him at the room. I said, okay, whatever. So now we on the road and I'm noticing son texting and driving in the middle of lanes. I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey, yo, push over a little bit because you in between two lanes. He like, shorty, I got this. I've been driving. I've been driving from BR to Texas for a long time, back and forth from straight. I would never want to kill myself behind the wheel. I got us. Here, this is me, right? This is the passenger seat. I'm. You, I'm. It, it's to a point. I'm like, with the wheel, cause whoever you're texting, it's not that important. So I'm like, you know what? Whatever. So we make another. We make a stop before we get to where we're going, cause he he's like, search up places. I'm like, boy, I don't know nothing out here. Lame. You should have a plan. So now I'm annoyed. I'm googling stuff, but he keep pushing different locations. So we go to the next low. So he got out the car, I'm sitting in there, aggravated. He get back in the car. So I'm like, all right, you feel me? I'm like, so what's your friend finna do? Cause we not finna, he not finna tag along. He's like, yeah, we about to go back to the hotel. So, okay. Now we on, we back on the freeway. Not only is dude, my dude, he was in his phone. I'm looking directly in that bitch. I'm like, one thing about me, I'm gonna look in it. Even if you, I'm just gonna look. Because I'm curious. I'm nosy. So I'm looking in the phone. He texting the girl like, I really don't care because you're not my man. But like, if we die right now, it's because you texting that bitch. And she could wait because we on the road. And you clearly can't multitask. So why are you texting behind the wheel? At this point, I finna get out the car. So I told him, I'm like, can you just focus on the road like you do? My bad little mama, my bad little mama. So now that he put the phone down, he driving. And he's... To unraveling Jolly Ranchers and putting it in his double cup of walk hard syrup. <laughs> so not only is dude texting and driving, he putting Jolly Ranchers in his walk hard syrup. And his friend in the back geeking. <laughs> so now my I'm just raging, like I'm I'm going off. I'm like, bro, you serious? He's like, don't worry, baby, I, I need this. Like, I need this, just like you. And he one of them hood dudes that like to preach about everything. So I'm just blocking him out. Because now it's just like, I haven't even built you five minutes. And you just aggravating me so bad. But I'm hungry. And I'm going to just ride it out because I'm already with you. So so now we get to the hotel because he said he want to change and freshen up. He don't want to go out just looking up. No way. So I'm like, okay. So we get out. We go to the room. So, you know, we just still small talk. Like, I'm not trying to be a bitch or nothing. So, we still small talking. He take off his shirt. He finna shower. Dude had this big, huge tattoo right here. So, I said, who's that on your, uh, like, it was on his ribs. I said, who is that? He like, oh, that's my girl. She in the fed. She doing six years. I said, oh. <laughs> Go figure. I said, oh, okay. He start getting deep into so now this turns into a question. He talking about their relationship. He vented to me, you feel me? So I'm just like, yeah, you know, shit's crazy. Like, you know, you know, when you don't care, I'm like, wow, shit's crazy. Like, <laughs> but in my head, I'm really like, wow, this is crazy. He's like, yeah, but when I was in jail, you know, she used to sneak shit in for me. She was running up a bag, so I can't leave her. I'm like, hmm, heard that one mad times. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not sweating it because he not my type. Anyway, just I'm, tr I'm trying to kick it with dude. But just like, he throwing me off. I'm like, bro, like, he's like, but you bad though. I, oh, I need somebody like you. You bad. I give you anything you want. I start a business for you. I'm... 
<sighs> heard that mad times. Heard it mad times. So he just, you feel me? I'm like, all right, yo, go shower. My, and then, you know, it start pissing. He start FaceTiming his people back home. He steady. I'm like, bro, come on, bro. <laughs> Don't do that, bro. Like, I'm hungry. You steady talking to your people. Like, tell them you're going to call them back. Go get in the shower. And that's really really me telling that because I'm hungry. Go tell them, you feel me, and, and, and let's get it done. Like, I'm looking like, bro, like, so now he get up. But while he in the shower, here I am snooping real quick. Found his ID. Sent it to matter my people. You feel me? Because you're not finna play with me. Do I look like the person to play with? So, you know, I'm snooping through. I sent to matter my people. Yeah, I'm with this. I, I will just in case. Because I don't play them games. So, do get out the shower. Lamo. We're going to call Lamo. Do whatever. So, Lamo, get out the shower. So, now we go and we knock on the friend door. I said, so the friend come in. He like, yeah, we just want I'm like, we just gonna what? I'm hungry. I don't want to be with your weird ass friend. He's like, yeah, we gonna chill, mama. Chill, little mama. I don't want to chill. I don't. I don't. I'm nothing about me want to chill. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna let it rock. So we get back in the truck. He like, search your places you want to eat. I'm like, bro, I. So we on the, like, the east side of Houston. Like, we so far. Bro, I'm looking up things. Everything is closed. This is during, like, COVID time. So, we going into, like, a few restaurants. They talking about if you don't have a mask. And I ain't going to lie. I didn't walk around with no mask because Texas ain't care about no mask for me to walk around with a mask. I'm like, I'm not going to walk around with it. If, I'm Sometimes, like, if it's really, really needed. But if I don't got to, I was one of them. Like, I didn't. Like, I was just so whatever. So, we walking into all these restaurants. They tell him we can't come in. And then it's like, the he picked me up late, so time was ticking anyway. So they're like, oh, I'm sorry, we calls in 10 minutes. So I'm just looking at him. I'm like, Whew. so now we just, we hop back on the freeway. Now, let me tell you something about Lamo. I had brought up that Lamo was a local rapper. Lamo played, and, 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 and it's not just all his tracks, but before he played the track, there was a story to the track so he's like yeah yo when i make this i was in the stool i'm better than these niggas you feel me and his songs is not so the, the, the friend in the back is geeking so he gonna bop to whatever because you geeking bad you geeking so bad bro i mean this is me in the passenger seat i'm dogging him in my head i'm dogging him i'm just i'm taking deep breaths cope mechanisms because i'm finna i'm finna i'm finna spaz bro so he playing his music. I'm so I asked him, I'm like, yo, can we just play something else that like we all want to listen to? He's like, nah, bro, my music is. I'm I'm like, bro, <laughs> yo, when I tell you I was livid, like I'm 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 like, bro, you haven't even played not one song of anybody, and his song, his Lamo's music was so lame. Like I have yet to see Boy come up, bro. And I and, and this is this was two years ago. You feel me? And there's been many Louisiana rappers that came up. So he's like, I'm the hottest nigga in the city. Oh, that's that it'd be that line, it'd be that line for me. I'm the hottest nigga in the city. Shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Like, so he's like, little mama chill, like you just So now, again, we hop back on the freeway. He's texting and driving. I'm like, bro, if you wanna kill me. Just say that, bro. Just say it, bro. If you want to kill me, if you want to do me in like that, just say it, bro. I'm like, bro, can you stop texting, bro, and focus on what you're doing? Because I'm not going to keep putting my hand to the wheel so you can get out the lane. You Just because you feel like you got a truck, that don't mean nothing. So now I'm foaming. So you know what the... You, so we on the road, we on the road. So we end up going into like this little plaza. We tried three restaurants. So let me tell you the restaurant that this man brought me to. We went to Applebee's. <laughs> I don't even eat Applebee's. I don't even eat Applebee's. So I'm just like, he's like, well, we gotta eat. So we sit down. I was like, to the waitress, I'm like, I don't need a menu. He's like, baby, are you not going to eat? You told me you was hungry, you feel me? I'm like, and then the friend just 
looking stupid and geeked out and off the drink and just leaning and I was like, I'll be back. You feel me? I went into the bathroom, meditated, wusa, not to really give him this two-piece combo, not to rash him, not to bring it to his front door, not to bring it to his dome piece, not to bring it to that nigga right here. You feel me? You know, you take a dart, you throw that bitch right in the middle. I was finna get on boy ass bad for bringing me to Applebee's, bro, because I don't eat that. I, everything in Applebee's is frozen. I'm like, you really brought me here? He's like, baby, I'm sweet. So, like I told you, he's like a hood, um, like a hood philosopher. He, he preaches about everything. So, I'm in there. He talking. He like, you're not going to eat. So, I got me a mango lemonade. That was it. <laughs> so, not only did you pick me up late, 75% of the time you talk about your girlfriend that's in the feds. You almost killed me because you drank in your drink. You with your partner, your lame ass partner, who geeking bad, who in the back smiling at me, being weird. Like, stop smiling at me, bro. <laughs> like, you're weird. You brought me to Applebee's, and then while we was there, he's like, you gotta appreciate, because there's people right now that can't even eat like this, and you, I'm like, boy, I know you not finna give it to me like that, bro. Oh my God, you're really trying to bring it to me like that? I say, yeah, bro, yeah. So I'm keeping it cool the whole time. So he's like, what we about to do? I say, you finna bring me home. That's what you gonna do. But, I, but when I was sitting down, I had searched up my Addy and I was 48 minutes away from my crib. I don't know how deep we was in the east side, but we was deep. I said, let's pack it up and let's go. Because one thing about me, we're going to go home. What you mean? Mind you, when he tried to preach to me about the, about the, um, Applebee's, I was done. I clocked out, tuned out. You good. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to do this with you right now. I promise you I'm not. I swear to God I'm not. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, we're going to bring me home. So his friend was like, why are you trying to leave? Sure, are you tripping, man? Like, we're going to bring you somewhere now next time. Niggas are just late on time. I'm not tripping. Bring me home. First of all, it was the Yo. And I didn't think I had ear pods yet. Because if I did on my soul, I would have plugged them bitches in. He was playing his music the whole. I was like, yo. Let me play a song. It's like, yeah, I got you after this one. <laughs> you said after this one, five after this one's ago. <laughs> okay? Bro, Lamo had me fed and his partner just was not not making it better because he was just geeking and just, oh, getting on my nerve. So, as we're driving, like I said, he's still doing the dumb shit, texting Shorty, sipping the drink bumping his music like the whole situation was just like bro let me go home like it was to a point like when we were sitting at Applebee's there was a point I searched up Uber he's like where are you looking up Uber so I said because I'm going home he's like baby chill I'm finna bring you home I said let's go right now pack it up I don't care if we have to run off on this bill I'm ready to go and if you don't leave right now on my soul I'll call the Uber bro if I could walk home, I swear to God, I'll walk home. It probably would take me three days. But, baby, best believe I'm going to get home. So, <laughs> yo, so the whole time on the road, bro, I'm just texting every other nigga I could text. Like, yo, <laughs> I'm dogging him. Because it's like, come on, bro. You feel me? It's nothing to reschedule, but I'm not going to be on no date with your geek ass friend. He steady smoking cigarettes. You steady smoking cigarettes every five minutes. Like, I don't knock who do what, but like that shit give me headaches. And I'm just like, and so when I got to the, when I was getting closer, he like, so what we finna do? I said, you finna bring me home. That's what we going to do. And don't ask me again. I'm not playing. So. I ain't say nothing after that. Like, it was crickets the whole car ride. He want to play his whack-ass music. I'm like, okay, it is what it is. Like, Lamo really had me... Like, this boy was playing his music the whole... Like, I've never heard... And that's like a lot of boys do that to me. 
upcoming rappers. And I'm not mad. Promote yourself because at the end of the day, you never know when you can blow. But sometimes you just got to know when it's not it. Sometimes you got to know when it's just not that. Sometimes you got to know maybe I should just get a 9 to 5. Maybe the rap is not working. You put all your money into that. Is your streams even busting, bro? Because if it's not busting, bro, hang it up. Hang it up. So he dropped me off. I slammed that car door. And as I walked away from him, I blocked him immediately. Like, are you good, bro? <laughs> Applebee's. I would have preferred Fridays. See, Fridays, I'm good with Fridays. Applebee's. I think he was like, I'm sorry, mama. Next time I got you, I ain't going to do you like that. I was like, no worries. I'll see you later. Boo. And I waited for him to drive off. Because you ain't finna see where I live. Like, yo, when I tell you that was the lamest lamest date I ever been on ever in my life he was lame he was really lame like he was lame for that and I swear to god like <laughs> he still follow me on Instagram too I don't give a fuck you're lame your music's lame everything about you is lame I don't care you almost killed me because you want to be texting a hoe like if this bitch if, if I die because you I'm gonna haunt that bitch and I'm gonna haunt you because why the fuck you texting and driving then you sipping codeine double cup with Jolly Branchers on a freeway are you kidding me then you bring me to Applebee's 48 minutes away from the crib I give that date a 0 out of 10 and I give him a 0 out of 10 lame -o. <laughs> That was like the worst, one of the worst dates I went on because like his friend was so weird too, just in the back, sipping, smoking Joes. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, yo, oh my God. Look, like some, some, some people just blow my head every time. You feel me? <sighs> like even think, even thinking about it just give me a headache, like. Ugh, the fact that I even got in that big ass truck anyways, like, and then he wanted to take pictures. He probably still got them pictures. I mean, I'll let him take it because it's like he was a fan. <laughs> it's like I was going out to eat with a fan. Fuck it. He was like, you a bad bitch. I need you with me at all times. In one ear, out the other. In one ear, out the other. Like, shut up. You're a fan of me. <laughs> Lame-o. Like, ugh. Delete them pictures, too. I hope, like, I hope his girlfriend probably probably got, like, two more, two and a half more years left. I don't know. I don't care. Free her. Because your nigga's lame. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, that really concludes the story. Like, he was just a lame. And he took me to Applebee's and all I got was a fucking mango lemonade, bro. <laughs> but anyways as many bad dates as I went on I went on some cool ones too you feel me everything wasn't always a bad experience but anyways um, like comment and subscribe to your girls YouTube I'm trying to keep the consistency of dropping and stay tuned for more videos more vlogs more story times Stay tapped in. Follow my Instagram and my TikTok. I'm going to link everything in the description box. I love y'all so much. Stay tapped in with Bougie Ghetto Mommy. You know what I always say. Keep it cute, classy. Sprinkle a little Bougie Ghetto. Mix it up. Serve it on a plate. And you know what I'm saying? You get what you get, honey. And don't ever let these niggas bring you to Applebee's, bro. Even if it's the last place open. I swear. But yeah, y'all. Bye.